guys, this is Sarah Shireman and today I am here with a tutorial on how to turn using a hip reel. Um, so if you don't know how to do hip reels, go ahead and take a step back. I have another video that I have posted about how to do hip reels. So start there or check out some other tutorials on YouTube about hip reels and then come back to this once you're feeling confident with that. Um, so today we're going to learn how to do a, a turning hip reel. And so we're going to do that from a forwards weave. Um, so let me go ahead and show you first and then we'll break down the move for you. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about turning first. So when I am first learning moves where I'm turning or if I really want a really, really quick, um, fast turn, what I do instead of walking a couple steps in a circle to get myself around. Um, you might see people taking a few steps, like a four step or something to get around. Um, what I like to do is I like to just cross one leg over the other. So if I'm going to the right, I'm just gonna pull my left leg, cross it over the other, and then you're just going to spin on the balls of your feet. So spin until you're backwards, and then keep spinning until you're forwards. So then you're all the way spun around. And then you can take a step out and get into whatever next move you want. Um, but I like doing that, especially if I'm learning new moves um, because it allows you to not think about the steps you're taking. You can just twist um, while you're focusing on your, the new move you're learning. Or if you want to spin really, really quick and seamlessly, it's a fun way to get around in a hurry. Um, so with that said, Let's start with our forwards weave. So if you have a hard time getting into this um, forwards weave where it's in front of you and behind, you're just gonna go to the side. Once you're here, just turn your body um, so it should get you in this weave where you're leading with your thumb, the hoop is coming in front of you and behind. Leading with the thumb the whole time. So we're in a forwards weave. From here, as the hoop comes across your body, you're gonna put it on your thumb and then you're gonna grab it. Um, and this should just be a seamless motion um, without extra rotations once you get a hang of it. But while you're learning, it's totally fine um, if you need to do a couple term, uh, turns on your thumb before grabbing it with your hand. Definitely okay, it's a good way to learn. It slows everything down. Um, but once you're here, your thumb is gonna be facing across your body. I'm using my right hand, so my right thumb is facing towards my left. And I'm gripping the hoop with my palm facing out. From here, we're gonna go ahead and start extending over uh, with our arm. And at the same time, you're going to cross your leg. So we're gonna cross that left leg over the right. We're gonna extend it out to our side. So now the hoop is in front of us. Palm is facing away. And then thumb is up at the sky and we're starting to twist. So my left foot is leading. I'm kind of like pivoting on uh, my left, my right really, left doesn't have a whole lot of weight on it. I'm putting most of my weight on my right foot. And as I'm over here, I'm gonna start dropping the hoop. And at the same time, I'm gonna keep spinning, putting most of your weight still on your right foot. And then we're going to be sweeping the hoop down in front of you. So now you see that my palm is facing me. We're gonna keep pushing across. Now we're leading with the pinky. And as we come across our body, you're gonna start turning your hips to follow. So now, most of my weight is on my, uh, well I guess still on my right. I t I'm right dominant, so I put most of my weight there. But find a foot that's comfortable and put most of your weight on that foot. And then your other foot is just helping with the pivoting. Um, but as you're coming across here, we're gonna get into that pinky led hip reel. So now that we're across our body, and you're gonna dip it, so pushing the hoop up, zoop, you're gonna dip it down, super awkward position, I know. And now we're in front of our body, thumb is down, and we're still leading with the pinky. Um, so you could potentially then push it out again. Um, so let's go ahead and through that again a little bit quicker. Um, so forwards weave, thumb, grabbing it, cross the legs, you're gonna extend down, start turning. Keep turning, hip reel up and out. Um, so right here, what you can do from this position is kind of an awkward position for most hoop moves. You can either um, 
just flip it so thumb comes towards the sky flip 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 and now you're in a little bit of a more normal uh, position you can kind of fold it back if you want onto you um, you can do a palm spin Shoop. Uh, you could do a palm spin flourish uh, you can then also if you wanted from this position you could just go straight into a backwards weave um, so there's a lot of things you can do with that but that's pretty much the gist of the turn um, so once again we're just gonna go quicker choo, choo. Once again, if you need to make things bigger uh, in order to help yourself get through those motions, that's totally fine. Um, so for instance, we can really pull the hoop out to the side when we do our hip reel and really back to the back and back forward. I'm really extending out each time. Uh, so if we wanted to do that slower extended version, you put it on your thumb, really wide out to your side really wide at the bottom, all the way up, dip it down, and back forwards. And that's the same move, it's just really far out instead of keeping it close to your body and doing a closer hip reel. Um, yeah, so that's the turning hip reel for you guys. Um, if you want to learn something more advanced, you can go ahead on to the next tutorial for turning hip reels and it's going to be um, turning with two hoops and it's going to look like this. Whoop, that was a little bit sloppy. Let's go one more time. Okay, um, yeah. If you have any tutorials you'd like to learn, um, send me a message, comment below. Let me know what interests you guys. I'm gonna be trying to put out a lot more tutorials in 2017, um, so. Let me know what you want to learn. Happy hooping!